Hello, buddy, and welcome. We're here. We have the Pink Sox versus the shenanigans at Altitude Esports Mock Overwatch League. I'm Ryan, and I'm Hello, joined Brian. by Bryce Dillon. Yes. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm good. Uh, I just got to get this yeah. game started. You know, this is a pretty, uh, both teams are pretty close in the standing, so it'll be interesting to see the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, middle of the standings kind of teams. Uh, it matters a lot when you really think about it, you know, just shaking up, you know, who the top teams have to play in the playoffs and everything like that. So it should be a good one as these teams battle it out. Do you have any favorites right now, Cry? Um, I usually vote for the underdog, and, and in this situation, uh, Shenanigans are definitely the underdog, <laughs> having a much worse map differential. So maybe we oh. can uh, see him come out here. Underdog story is pretty great. You, you know, I've I've been I've been seeing a lot of Overwatch recently, looking at the metas. I'm really interested to see what these tanks can do in this game because it seems like the tank comps really dictate the pace of play. You know, are they getting cut out by those maze and other stuff like that? So. It's be interesting to see how both teams play around May, play around the meta, see if their yeah. tanks can get enough work. Well, when it's a Ryan Diva meta, um, <laughs> you, you really the tanks play such an important role, yeah. especially like if you're playing behind a Ryan shield and your Ryan drops your shield and your whole team gets shattered, not much you can do there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so yeah. hopefully this game can get started uh, real quick because uh, it will be an interesting one. Yeah, when, don't want to keep us waiting it. too long here. Yeah, Everyone's I excited, I know. Like, like we are in quarantine here, but like we still, <laughs> we still got lives, you know. <laughs> Should be going underway in just a minute. Make sure, in the meantime, if you're joining in to Altitude for the first time, you follow the stream, stay up to date on the, on the games, keep everything in the back of your head. You can join <laughs> the Discord to follow that even more, but. I mean, right now we're talking about Paris and Shanghai. Do any does any specific player stick out to you right now, Cry? Um, Cherry definitely on that Reinhardt, very strong player. Mm -hmm. And I watched Invictus play in the last game and just pop off on the DPS role, just on every single player or role. Yeah, I don't really remember who they were playing, but I just remember they were uh, pretty impressive. So those two, especially on either team, definitely important to watch out for. Yeah. I mean uh, DPS player is always fun to watch. As everyone knows, then when they click head, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. But of course, lot. Cherry on the main tank. I mean, that's also fun. Big shatter, so. Yeah, Cherry plays a very aggressive Reinhardt, so it's interesting to see what teams actually uh, do against him. Either they uh, give up points, or they can, uh, if they can focus him, then you, you know what? That's just how, that's just how it ends up going. Yeah, sometimes. That's all it is, just a Reinhardt battle in the end. I mean, usually it it helps when your team's also, you know, poking at it and everything, but the Reinhardts do a lot of damage. They make a lot of space. It's up to them. Got a few follows again in the chat. Galactic and Sonic, thank you for the follows. Great stuff from you guys, you know, helping the stream out. So now that we're all uh, quarantined, what are, what are, like, your fair quarantine activities besides, like, obviously Overwatch? <laughs> Now traveling mm. to what are my favorite activities? Uh, <laughs> just playing uh, a lot of, lot of Overwatch, a lot of casting, a lot of Overwatch, and a lot of Animal Crossing. I mean, <laughs> that's basically just what it is. True. I got so bored of Overwatch on the PC, I got it on the Switch as well. So, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get top five. I'm gonna get top five hundred somewhere. Okay, that's just, that's so all. You can send that screenshot and be like, "Yo, <laughs> I, I did it finally." What is top five hundred on the on Switch like? Silver or gold? It, it the number one player on the switch right now is thirty four thirty three. I checked earlier today. Damn, dude. It's I, like top five hundred, probably three thousand. Are there more I mean, than five hundred people that play Overwatch on the switch? I don't think so. I really, I think I if I do my placements, I'll be top five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and as we get going here, we do see the very classic setup, except we do have Shanghai running a bastion on this first point Busan. Yeah, well. Five, four, three, two. Okay, one. but yeah, we, we see a very interesting comp, but we do see yeah. just swap back off the main, or back off the Bastion into the main, and that, that's more of a normal comp here. We, I don't yeah. know what they would have done with the Bastion. Uh, both teams pushing up left here, trying to get into position. Boon just both shields off, both shields taking damage. We see the break putting in a lot of work with these shields, and Boon is actually walled off here. Cherry will be down, and the anti is out. 
Raps into Rexado will go down and it will just be a slaughter. Invictus does get Emster on the way out, but he will fall. Same with Boone and Edgy Pigeon. And that'll be a quick first take by Paris. Yeah, Rose hit some good shots there, but also a difference in the comp, comp might be an impact. We got Rabs on the Brig compared to Brick on the Lucio, so they got a little more extra speed. They can get into the position they want earlier, and you know that Maywell came out and they couldn't find a way around it because Rabs was cut out. It's just not the same amount of precision as the Lucio as well. And we can see the wall out by Shanghai yet again, and Boon is yet again walled. The May is freezing. Emster falling low has to use Ice Block there, and DPS will fall low as well. The Shatter is out, blocked by Boon, and now it'll be Shanghai on the attack. There goes Boone, and Paris is cleaning up again. Cherry does fall, but with four down, that five down now, that will be uh, Paris with another fight win. Yeah, Cherry misses the shatter there, but altogether wins the Rhyme battle. Still keeps that space, you know, doesn't allow Boone to get in there at all, basically. So keeps the front line held and doing the fight off of that. And now they have ultimates coming into the next fight. Esther's well, with, almost at that blizzard, so. Well, with Rabs on this brig, you don't have that speed in, you don't have that engage ability, and you will get walled way more than with a brig. Both teams positioning Esther. You haven't used Ice Wall early there, and Cherry's gonna get anti and forced to pull back. The High Noon is out by Rose, then Boon's shield is low, and his shield will be broken there. Both teams kind of looking for a position on point. Cherry is walled off here. DPS going in for the fix. Cherry's anti will fall down to Jets. DPS will lose his mech. The high noon of I Invictus gets two, and that will be Shanghai with the fight win. Yeah, again, just a slow battle there, but this time Shanghai comes out on top. Good anti nade there early from Edgy Pigeon. Is that just kind of set the pace for the whole fight? He got that anti and onto Cherry. Had to back up. Lost a lot of space. Basically lost a point because of one anti nade that didn't even get a kill. Just gave them the space. But we'll see if they can respond. When you anti the Reinhardt and force his whole team back, and another huge like anti is out. The B will be in, trying to stay him alive. The grab is out as well. Uzakta will have his grab eaten and will fall. The bomb is out. Looks like it could be huge. Gets no end here, and Boone will be frozen and falls as well. Just clean up now. Cherry anti and low, and he's gonna fall to Edgy Pigeon. The Mayalt is out as well, and it's kind of just clean up here for Paris with no main tanks left on the Shanghai side. The fall will be stalling, but. Yeah. Not really much you can do there. Yeah, don't know about the ball switch as well. Probably just knowing he's gonna die. Maybe switch over to the diva. Didn't have any all charge, but just a huge eat there from DPS. Knew exactly where that grab was coming from and just takes it out of the fight right away. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, when you're you're building up to that ultimate, you just kind of waste it like that. Kind of tough, but. Now he's yeah. on the ball. We'll see if he can get value. And the wall is out. Two will be caught. Invictus does get Rosé though. And will actually get away from that fight. Cherry falling low. Boon is swinging. Needs to find this kill. Cherry falls next. And now it will be Shanghai on the advantage. Boom is anti. Huge anti on the side of Paris. The Brick Breaker is going to fall next. And that should be Shanghai getting the fight. Epster will fall as well. DPS losing his mech. And that's going to be a quick fight win by Shanghai. Didn't seem like uh, Pink Sox really knew what to do there. They got the wall and they got those members separated. But they didn't really attack on it. One player did. And he fell for it. That was Rosé, and that kind of just crumbled the rest of the fight. Yeah, just spread even, out, and then yeah. Even though Raz and Invictus were walled, they were actually able to get a pick off. Yeah, and that kind of just spiraled into a nice fight. When Boon has no shield, the wall is out by Paris. Both teams looking for fights. The shatter is missed by Boon, and he will be now swinging in. Esther finds Edgy Pigeon, and Jets is going to fall to Brick Breaker. Both. Supports picking up a kill on the side of Paris. Boone falling extremely low. The high noon is out. There goes Invictus and Boone, and that should be Paris with the fight. Yeah, it shouldn't be much now. The bombs are going to come out here at the end of the fight. It's not going to do anything. You don't have anything to put through there, and a lot of that could probably be contributed to that ball. We don't see a lot of it. The D.Va was controlling the background. Bomb just cleaning up. It's just a matter of time at this point. There we go, but that D.Va in the back on the side of Paris really did a lot of work getting the the uh, supports, getting those DPS worse angles, and the ball wasn't really doing the same amount of work that that D.Va could be doing, so interesting strategy to switch that. Yeah, it, it's, it was a very close fight up until Shanghai lost both supports, and, you, and when you have no supports, it's uh, very difficult for your tanks to do anything but just kind of die. Yep. But you notice that both Reinhardts actually were struggling with getting the shatters off. A lot of blocks by both 
both Boone and Cherry. So very impressive uh, Ryan gameplay by the team. We do see Invictus coming out on the Widow here, which could be uh, kind of hard for the team to deal with. And we know we can hit those heads, but will we get the right angles? It's a pretty Widow heavy map, but it seems like Pear's just going to run to point, and it's hard. It's definitely hard to get angles when they're in the same close. Position point. himself on point. Cherry is swinging. The wall is out by Shanghai. Try That's going to give Pears the chance to push in here and use the wall of their own. The wall is out. Rexon is on the wrong side. He falls low. He will be de -mech. Cherry is swinging. Huge anti. Boone's going to fall next. Invictus does find Dreamy in the back line. And Rex is gonna, Jets is going to fall as well. So Paris does get that point. Um, yeah. Shanghai did get the Ana, but just wasn't really enough. Invectus went on a huge flank there during that fight and only got one pick for it. And by the time he even found that pick, the space was made. Shield battle was won. Seemed interesting to even try to take that little play as he goes over to the McCree. Kind of, I wouldn't say fails, just doesn't get the job done. Yeah, we saw Shanghai use their wall a little early there and have no no really follow-up for uh, the pa the Paris wall. And then it kind of just escalated from there. They lost their mate to the wall and then are their even and lost the rest of their team. Both teams pushing in here. And we just see Shanghai trying to position themselves to find it. We see Jets and the Lucio on one side and the tanks now pushing in. Rixada and Boone alone on the point here trying to find some value. Cherry's gonna go and swing it. Boone gets the anti. Or Nano, the shatter is out. Epster finds Jets. Both ne rides are Nano. Edge of Kitchen will fall next. And Paris coming out with another strong fight win. Yeah, very strong there. Nano boost on each side, but again, it's that anti nade that really dictates how the fight goes. Edgy Pigeon didn't find it, but Dreamy did. And Cherry had no problem swinging on a nano boosted Rhine when he's nano boosted himself because he has that extra healing in his back. And he can just really build that one up. He misses the shatter again, but that doesn't really seem like it's been an issue so far this game. Yeah, we do see Shanghai now have the alt advantage here. Mm -hmm. So maybe they can get get possession of the point here because they really this if they do not get this i don't know if they can come back on this map the mail is out both males are out on both sides where Evster will fall but jess is going to fall on the side of paris boone gets cherry gets charged by boone and both rhymes are going to be down as well and the fight will be back to even the bomb is out finds finds the mechs of rexada but invictus will find dreamy in the back line both teams very even here trying to find one more pick could win this fight Rosé does find Invictus, but Raz is going to trade off with Rosé as well. Brick Pricker is going to fall to Edgy Pigeon, and that should be Shanghai Vantage on the point. We do see Cherry back with the Shatter. If he finds the value, he can win this fight for his team. I don't think he's going to use it. He doesn't have his healers, but actually he's pinning in there. That's just switched in between. Epster going to fall as well. Both teams down their May. Boone's going to be anti here, and the Shatter is going to find Invictus. The counter Shatter is up. Cherry falls next. They need to find value. Rosé gets grabs with the high noon, gets dove by both divas. And we do see Shanghai get the point, but it's now just a matter of holding it. Uh, Brickbreaker will find Rexada's mech, and Shanghai is going to be down the diva mech. Yeah, Sherry tried to come in there with a hero play, but Dreamy, probably if he gets that nano boost off onto him, it might be a different story, but he gets the counter sh shatter. I mean, I don't know if that one Invictus High Noon was a yeah, enough pick. Getting Rexada, that is a huge pick. They're in. Shanghai will not have their, their Diva here. Invictus does find Dreamy, though. That could even the fight out. Boone is falling low. They need to find value. Cherry's low as well. Cherry does fall. They lose Invictus in the back line. And so does Jets. It looks like Paris can win this fight. Boone is in critical health, and he's going to probably fall next year. Paris just needs to find these kills, and Rosé is going to find Boone uncontested on the high ground. Rexada goes for the dive. The bomb is out, finds no one, but Paris still has control of the point. The beat is out, and the bomb on the side of Shanghai needs value here. Neither finds anything. Jets finds Dreamy in the back line, and now he's looking for a pick of their own. Rosé with another high noon, even though Cherry does fall. He gets Raps yet again, and Jets is going to fall to Emster. He just seems so bad. Breaker, the main belt is going to have him caught, though. And Rexada will find Rosé. Boone looks like he should be falling on the point here, but they just find the picks and clean up. Yeah, the cleanup's coming up on one side right now as Shanghai holds yet again. And it's not coming on the side of Paris. Pink Slacks have been trading kills, but it's just not enough. They can't find the kills fast enough as Shanghai just goes all their members back. Insanely fast. Yeah, they, they, they have a lot of mobility. So they didn't really target focus there, and then they ended up with the 
just in the extended fight where they were losing more people on the other team. Both Rhines have shatters here. Boom needs to find a huge one. Cherry is gets the nano. Boom will be walled if Boom falls. But will be an open shatter. The shatter is huge. Oh, both supports. Boon will fall, but the shatter by Cherry gets his whole backline while Boon is swinging. There goes Edgy, and Boon will fall as well. It is yet again an even fight they need to find. Cherry falls to Jets, and, it, and Shanghai now has the advantage they need. Rose falls to Jets, and Jets gets another two. It's just DPS, and Jets gets four there. And just kind of cleans up that last fight. And huge plays by Jets on Invictus. Yeah, Cherry a huge shatter there after the shatter from boone but it just wasn't enough as his team was down there wasn't a follow-up he got one or two picks but his team fell as well i mean the trades are coming through and then jets just cleans it up you can't really stop that doomfist you're doing all that work and during that game outshark and narrator for the fouls thank you for those we got another map here on busan i mean cry who do you even think has the advantage right now um, it really depends. Dreamy's getting picked off a lot in the back line. Invictus keeps finding him, and that's that's gonna be a really big problem when you lose your main heal every fight. If they can keep him alive, they should be winning the majority of these fights. Yeah, he's been throwing those antinades pretty well, but the antinades are huge at the opening of the fight. It's just when he's in that back line, they, they, his team needs to peel a little more and help him survive against the creed. Both walls are out. Boom goes for the charge. Pins Cherry and he's going to fall. Ev's just going to fall as well. And Shanghai is going to come out with a huge advantage here. Dreamy is going to be running away, but DPS and Brickbreaker and Dreamy are all going to fall. Yeah, I thought Cherry was kind of winning the Ryan 1v1, but in these last two maps, Booney has just really changed his tempo. Maybe that's the help of Rex on the D.Va a little bit, but altogether, it just seems a lot more clean here from Booney as that he finds that pin and they find the kills quite quickly to follow it. Yeah, well, Boom made a very aggressive charge play, but he got Cherry and it paid off. The wall is out, kind of misses the whole Paris team here. And now and now the wall by Paris is going to be getting Rixana caught in that corner. He's going to get the mech to shatter. He gets two. Cherry falls. Needs to find one more. The anti comes out by Dreams. And that's going to be huge as well. Both teams losing their May there. But it looks like Paris will lose that fight. Rixada does fall low, but Shanghai will be able to get out there. Yeah, again, it's that Ryan 1v1. Boone, he finds the Shatter on the flank. Cherry has no idea it's coming. Drops that one. It doesn't take out like five or anything, but it takes out enough to win them the fight. That's going to be a hard recontest here from Paris. Just, they go around this right side a little bit to the stairs. The wall is out by Shanghai. Both walls are out. The, and the Invictus with the high noon finds Cherry. It's Lada also out on the side of Shanghai. Needs to get kind of clean this point up and get a few more. They do lose Evster as well, and that should be Shanghai with the point. Yeah, you gotta feel bad for Cherry right now. Really can't play the game. He gets Blizzard. Uh, he gets Blizzard, I should say. Like he was in the middle of it, and then the High Noon follows in. He can't go anywhere. He's frozen up there, and he falls to it. A good combo from the DPS lineup, but we do see Shanghai with very few alts here to counter with while Paris, or Paris has all six of theirs, so that could be a night in the adventure. The Nano comes out onto Cherry a little early, not really finding having the targets to swing into, but it works out of finds Evster's nail. Huge pick there, the Devault is out, finds no one. Both shields are extremely low. Cherry looking for his alts here, Rosé does find Invictus, the alt by DPS finds another, and Jets will go down as well. It should be Paris winning this fight with Edgy Pidgeot and, and Boone just falling very last. Sagger's gonna come out as well, but finally they put it together, but it's gonna cost them a lot of ultimates. They used four that fight. Evster doesn't even find value in his. It's gonna be tough to keep it together for another, what, 80%? I mean, it'll be tough to hold, but I feel like they, they, ha they have a better shot now. Edgy Pidgeot is still in the Moira as opposed to to the Anna, which is still interesting. We don't see a lot of Moira. But here comes the recontest. Booney on the point. Is all Boone is well falling low. The beat is out by both teams. Looking for value here. Boone is swinging in pretty hard. Cherry just getting frozen every time he tries. His shield is down. Boone has a free shatter. Finds a few. Invictus going for the ult. This could be the last fight. Three are down. That is four. And with 99%, it's going to be very hard for Paris to 
Mm. I take back this point. It's gonna be a desperate recontest. It should be uh, Shanghai getting getting uh, first point. Yeah, and they will. They go up 1-0, and that's again on that rhyme battle. Cherry couldn't keep couldn't keep the the shield up. Couldn't couldn't preserve that at all. We got those googly eyes as well. Thank you for that one, Blizzard. But <laughs> again, just Surrender easy shadows found there from Booty, especially this last one here. So. Boone on that last map, he just he just did everything in his power to win that match. With the both the shatters and the pins, he was coming out huge yep. for his team. We see Evser, huge amount of eliminations there on the side. Obviously he's playing the May, but you know. Yep. Pretty pretty close round here, but Shanghai just keeps it together a little more and it's gotta be that rhyme battle right now. Cherry versus the one the only Booney, but Again, if you're enjoying what you're watching, you can go ahead and follow the stream here at Altitude Esports Mock Overwatch League. But we still have we still have a few more maps. You know, first map's kind of iffy sometimes, just to feel out what the other team's doing. So I it's think pretty Pink close can, map all around, yeah. anyways. Yeah, I, I feel like Pink Socks can come back and get it all together. Yeah, I, I'm not really worried too much about mm. uh, this game. I think it's going to be close all the way through. Um, but yeah. Both maps yeah. were very, were very, uh, were very close. <laughs> I bet, like, as first map went to Pink Socks with almost 100% to zero, really, maybe 150. Second map, 99, 99, and then the last map, <laughs> shenanigans yeah. kind of just ran away with there. But we will be uh, going to Horizon Lunar Colony as a fan favorite. <laughs> well, really. uh, I don't know what fans you're talking about, but. You don't you don't love Horizon Lunar Colony? It's like it's like the best map in the game. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah. Sarth Sarth likes Horizon for some reason. I don't know if he's still just like joking about that, but <laughs> I mean Hanamura is just so much better in every way. And oh, there's one choke point. What it's just <laughs> nonetheless, we'll see what these guys can pull out here uh paris is gonna ma be making a few subs right now as we can see i mean we can see not you guys but yeah you can <laughs> see the you can just see the you can see the nice beautiful picture of paris we can see what's actually going on and yes we do have shanghai up 1-0 on the pink socks yeah i mean first map advantage is always huge but again a lot can change i mean 2cp maps if you have a better sim then sometimes that's all you need but We'll see what these guys pull out. Horizon has a lot of different comp, you know, possibilities. You, we could see dive here pretty consistently. We we've seen it before, but also that May McCree comp also just it's always a safe bet, you know, if you're just unsure of what to run. Don't think we'll see a bunker. That hasn't really showed up too much, so either way. Should be pretty, pretty fun I, to watch. I don't know. A bunker yeah. comp. You're feeling pressured. You're down one zero. You might, True. you might, you True. might feel like you need to put one in. All I'm saying. If we see a huge roll come in, maybe. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know. I'm excited. Definitely excited for that one. Definitely excited. Nice. Yeah, it, it, it'll it'll all be about the main tank battle. Cherry is actually going to be one of the members to come out on Paris right now, so we'll see if that changes at all how they attack this. Um, Cherry definitely known for the Reinhardt, so maybe they're bringing in uh, someone who isn't familiar with the Reinhardt and play something more like Arissa Winston more consistently. You know what I mean? Yeah, they could be bringing out the the off the another main tank they could be playing that could be a monkey player you know bring mm -hmm. out the good old horizon dive yeah. or as you said a rissa player we never know yeah. we don't really know what uh paris is thinking behind the scenes or they could bring be bringing in a hog one trick and uh just for some reason running a roadhog because who knows who knows just a dps player that can't can't flex <laughs> It's all interesting here. 
in the mock overwatch league from Traveling altitude esports horizon, sure you drop a follow if you're enjoying as we go into map two horizon lunar colony we do see uh shanghai with the nice 1-0 lead they are the underdogs in this game so it'll be interesting to see if they can come out of on top here yeah they really need a win right now for their season i mean it'd be very uh, a win a win would basically secure them in a playoff spot they're yeah. currently in the 11th seed and a win here would would move them up at least to, maybe to the 10th seed and maybe even to the the ninth seed because other games are currently going on yeah you have uh, excel Ready recall going on at the same time which yeah. the number the number two excel versus number nine recall could be a 4-0 but i guess we'll see and then later we have shook versus ghouls so yeah that should be Attack exciting as well i mean a lot coming out right now we could definitely see a shake up in the standings yeah i feel well, like it wouldn't the, surprise me i feel like top two pretty solidified no one's really coming <gasps> coming for those two spots yeah. New York, Philadelphia with a 10-0 season so far and have one game remaining. And then we got <laughs> Excel with an 8-1 and one season so far. So mm -hmm. Seems kind of, pr pretty much that that's in that's in the lock. But these other teams in the middle of the pack need to really put it put it together right now or, <laughs> or really have to wait till next season. Yeah, I don't know. Well, when you get to playoffs, anything can happen. It could happen. You know? It could happen. One bad, couple bad games, and that could be it. And the Sim teleport's gonna push him right to point. We do see Ranger dropping early without his team. That's gonna be a dangerous play. Boom Shield is low, and then Ryan Shield's gonna be dropped. They have to kill these Simtras before they can push in. Shanghai rotating around, trying to get another doorway entry, and there's gonna be lasering Ranger down. He's gonna be fall extremely low and will fall to Invictus in the back. Shanghai now can just push on the Brick Break Breakers immortality, and they're just gonna be swinging in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically controlling the point right now. No, no real tanks. Got a baby diva, but that doesn't Ezra really count. Does find edgy pitch. Yeah. Gets is gonna find the baby diva. And oh. no one's even close to touching here. Brick breaker at the last second. When you get the sim, interesting tire by <laughs> Evster. Probably could have saved for the next point. Um, especially because they're gonna be pushing in very hard here. Yeah, um, to begin that fight, Ranger was just caught out a lot. His team wasn't really with him as he pushed onto the point, and he well, fell to that one as well. He dropped a little early, and when you're running that yeah. sim and you're not, you don't have damage that can be shooting their shields or, or the sim themselves. Like she can just like get lock yeah. onto that shield and be doing an obscene amount of damage, and not losing ammo. So yeah, so not really much recharge. Both teams can kind of close their alts. But as you can see, Shanghai definitely has the advantage. Ranger are falling extremely low, will be forced to drop here. Rough rotate by Paris here. The shatter is oh, oh, good. Is huge. Another huge shatter there by Boone. He's done this consistently all game, just back and forth. And they still have two ultimates for the recontest if it's going to come through. They're probably going to grab one door and then reprot the other set. So it's going to be very, um, yeah, that's going to be a very quick to speak. Die, die. So quick. Shanghai just flashing. Oh, Absolutely rolling right now, and Booty just playing out of his mind, finding shatters, finding picks. He's been playing extremely well this game. Yeah, he has enough support with the Zarya, with the Sim, that he can just be going in aggressive and just be uh, swinging. Mm -hmm. Also, Edgy's still playing that Moira right now, which is also interesting, but it's been working out. It's going to be tough, because if you don't have the antis and the team's yeah. pushing into you like that, it's going to be very difficult to uh, survive because uh, you don't, you can't, like there's nothing, basically your your tank, who's uh, I guess Ranger, Ready for yeah. well, yeah, never mind, but like, I mean Ranger just, if you're Ranger here, you got, you're getting swung at by Ryan, hit by a sim, and the Zarya is bubbling their Ryan, like there's yeah. literally nothing you can do, Attackers incoming. the only thing you have to be lucky yes. is that they just didn't run a May. So, yeah, that that. I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, but again, not the best defense there. Don't really take much time off the clock. Under five minutes, just under five minutes, I should say. Remaining for the timing of Shanghai, but we have the dive in spawn right now for Paris. We'll see if that even works out. Nanoblade is going to be available eventually. 
Yeah. We'll see if it works out. They're running kind of the classic here. They kind of play for Nano Blade. I'm surprised they're not running a Sombra. Probably be smarter here with the with the Nano Blade EMP combo. You can basically guarantee a fight win no matter what you're doing. I appreciate it. But they're probably just gonna try to position themselves on point. Dive, dive this Ash or Mercy high ground. Get a pick early and then kind of just roll from there. And Victor's gonna be falling low. Whole team on them. Mercy's gonna be falling low as well. Does get to point. Esther's gonna be taken, almost taken out by that turret there. Now they're gonna push in. The monkey is in, but it's gonna be quickly forced off the point. Invictus does get rezzed, and it's oh. gonna instantly die again. Rose will fall to Rexada. So it's gonna be an even fight with both teams down one DPS here. They need to find something else, but it's gonna be very difficult for Paris to find anything because they have to push onto this Ryan Arissa point. Yeah, pretty bulky comp here, and we have the Batiste healing as well. It's it's pretty easy to not let that Winston chunk you down, and no one else can really get in there because of those double shields. So, just Winston trying to beam you down, but it's not enough through any of that. Invictus falls twice, but the rest of the team stays alive and finds the kills. Well, they're not running this Ana, so they don't really have anything that can be dope. That's true. Invictus is the only target, and he's paid for it, but no one else has. Yeah. And obviously they're running the Mercy Ash just to just so Invictus can pop up. But the bat and the bat, yeah, basically they're running a pretty nice anti anti dive comp here, except for and uh, it's gonna be very difficult. Rose is gonna fall yet again to Rexada, and it's just gonna be kind of how it's gonna be until they swap off the dive or get an Anno Blade. It's gonna be very difficult for them to make any kind of space or yeah. get any picks. They just can hide behind the shields, put down an immortality, and kind of just swing into them. Yeah, they have the nano made now, but you've wasted a lot of time here, and it, it has to work, as you've ultimate online. Bob does a lot of damage to dive. I mean, his, it's just constant pressure. It has to annoy you when you have... Uh, the only, the only good there. thing about their comp is that even they don't have any diveable targets means that they also don't have any defensibles. Mm -hmm. So with no That's Lucio true. beat or... Trans, it's gonna be very easy for Evster to get a lot of picks unless he's countered by another ult. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a perfect immortality field from Rabs, but that can just get slashed through and anyway. They it early there, keeping alive the Torbjorn, and now would be a perfect time to use any ult if they have them. The Bob is out. Ranger Hoover's going in, has his ult, needs to get it. He's not gonna get find it. He's gonna fall. That's just unfortunate, really. I mean, the Molten Core comes out as well, and that's a good ult stopper for the Nano Blade, but still just a minute remaining. You haven't used your ult yet. You haven't really gotten in any good position to do any damage. It, it, it's now or never. They, Shanghai used a lot of ults there to hold, and, they, and really Paris didn't use really anything besides the Pulse Bomb. Mm -hmm. But it's also, they, they only have a minute left to hold, and with a five minute push, you, all you really need to do is Hold, be the hold for the longest, and we do see Ezra finding two on this blade. Finds another one, will fall to the Torp turret. But with that, it's already a one fight for Paris there. Yeah, the one I mean, uh, it, it's a nano blade. It does a lot of work. That turret is still putting in work itself, but four members on the point. It, you just, gotta, you gotta think about how Shanghai could have used their ults better to counter that. They. Wasted a lot of area denial. They wasted Objective their window. They lost. wasted Valkyrie and a fight that seemed already won. Yeah, they used but. the Bob there they, and the Molten Core. But, and you need to kind of save one of those if you're going to try to zone the Genji out. Mm -hmm. um, if, the Zen, if the Genji dashes in and you're Ash, because you're going to be the main target, one of the main targets that he's going to focus, yeah. you, Bath, and Mercy. Having something to be able to push him away or zone him out is kind of key, and uh, using that a little early is not going to help. They're kind of playing time here, so it's not going to be the, for the worst, with uh, Paris not having that much left really to work with here. Yeah, no ultimates as they switch over to this. Cream's just going to stand there and kind of just die. He loses his shield. The bomb is out. Could be huge fives to two. Vapor Blade getting huge pickoffs here. Rav will be the next to fall. Jumps out. The shatter gets blocked by the Maywall, and it looks like that's gonna be Paris taking the point. Yeah, it's gonna be Bob a, it's a out, huge Bob they need to charge oh, what a off. Boop. They boop him off, Easy. and I think Paris should be able to hold there. The May is out. Ball's gonna be on in a second, but it's just kind of a matter of how long it takes, because Shanghai does have a five-minute touch. 
Boon will fall next. Ranger Hoover swing in here with the Nano. Diva's gonna go down next. The High Noon could be huge. Gets one. Rose gets the next one. The Shatter gets edgy. And it's just Doom Lucio left on the point. They do get Rose. And now it's gonna be Boon stalling. So good stall by Shanghai. I don't think it's enough. Finally, they lose out. But a good stall that started off with Boone just being caught out there on the high ground. Don't know what really went down with that one. Shanghai does a little better with the with like the the you know stall a little bit, but Paris finds it eventually. Well, Shanghai has almost five minutes, and Paris mm -hmm. is around two. And that's not going to say that Shanghai is guaranteed to win a map. It's two CP. Anything can really happen here. But it definitely gives them the advantage on the defense because if they can hold yeah. first, it's unlikely, depending on what comp they run, that Paris can full hold that. And yeah, even I if, mean, and, and if they hold second, it's a very similar thing where they have enough time where they can just slowly win the all or. Yeah, so and we saw on Paris's first attack they ran the dive, but with a minute thirty-seven, you're n probably not going to build up that <laughs> nano blade in time. In so in yeah, they're going back to the normal meta count, which maybe they're not as comfortable on because they obviously wanted to run the dive on the offense, which maybe they're they're better at. So it'll be it'll be tough to see if they can really condition around it. Well, we the have, dive. The dive was, is an yeah. interesting comp on this map because of the high ground and because if you can take control and when they're running picks. Um, they honestly probably, this would have been a better team to f run the dive against because you're not having the BAP, you're not having that Orisa. And we, cause we do see Rexada now on the monkey and Edgy Pigeon starting off on the Moira, so interesting picks here. And a kind of on a dominated meta, especially with the monkey. You think, you think you'd want to run the Ana with if you're running a monkey, but... Yeah. I and mean, you're, you're probably looking for the dive, but it doesn't come out. Yeah, Paris gonna push right to point here, going up top, right, and just gonna push through. The May is kind of caught out of position here, kind of on that top area, is able to drop at any time, but if Dove could have been, uh, yeah, could have could have ended up in something. Paris now trying to take the high ground, only a minute left here, tr taking too much time. They should have probably pushed in, tried to do at least one fight, and that's going to be a huge wall. Invictus will get caught out there, does get around it. The pin is out, Boone's going to be swinging, and it, and that's going to be a huge pick. Rixana does fall to Evster though, and that will be what Paris needs. They can push on a point now. Boone gets anti, and Rosé is going to have the nano. Yeah, that high is only going to find the beam early. They find the DMAC on Vapor Blade, but is that going to be enough? Rosé finds Jets. Invictus is anti in the back of point. He's going to fall next. It's just Rabs on the point. And when, yeah, Rex and there on the Winston. Just, I wouldn't say that was the greatest pick. You don't have enough protection for Booney. And he dives in and gets picked first anyway. Didn't have his bubble up. Went to that back line. Yeah, definitely expecting a different comp to come out from Paris. And they just run the meta and they kind of kind of work around yeah. that <laughs> it's a uh, pretty hard um to run a monkey if you yeah. you have to play it diving back or playing like as a more of a nuisance and playing as like a holding the point kind of thing and he kind of just he tried to dive on the ground and he was just really easily able to focus get focused really hard Invictus is gonna find two there and ranger's gonna lose his all that should be it for paris's push shanghai kind of just getting that they do they do find boon but i don't think it will be enough to get the point because they will have a uh, spawn advantages here Esther is going to fall there goes dreamy vapor blades going to get team on point and brick breaker is going to fall as well and that's just going to be uh shanghai with a very strong push and the tracer does get the touch but it's just going to not going to be yeah. enough i don't think Esther's going to get anything done on the doofus either a good attack but Shanghai sticks it together. When you only have two minutes and it takes yeah. you that long to get first, it's and the other team has the ultimate advantage, it's going to be very difficult for you to do anything. Yeah, so five minutes remaining for Shanghai. And we had that May ultimate, the Blizzard come out from Jets there at the beginning of that second point attack from Pink Sox, but Jets just throws the Blizzard in between the healers and the, the rest of the team so they can't provide healing and just dwindled down in that little mini health pack area by that little truck, you know, on yeah, that they're, second they're point. They were so. able to find Ranger in that tough situation. Yeah. And 
range even though ranger yeah. had a huge shatter because he doesn't have the healing he wasn't actually able to follow up and then when you lose your main tank that early with 14 seconds left it's going to be very difficult for you to win the fight and we do see shanghai running the sim yet again Attackers He's probably just going to try to run the same thing so we'll have to see how paris tries to counter that yeah they probably will expect it a little better this time you you think but you never know i mean ranger might just drop onto the point yet again if they let yeah if they let jets set up on point and they drop ranger early it's gonna be kind it's not gonna be good <laughs> we do see a pause come out um not an na stream without a pause <laughs> <laughs> um never i'm gonna take this time to thank lubio for the follow that name is really concerning to me but uh thanks for following yeah thank you as well and if you want to follow him you can if you're just joining in <laughs> the first time you know you can join him and if you're curious about the league, we do need to, to get something that people can click on to like join the server. But if you do want to check out uh, what's going on, you can uh, easily send a link. Yeah, shouldn't, it shouldn't said, be too yeah. much. Too, too much work for that one. A lot of stuff coming up. Playoffs just around the corner. Both these yeah. teams looking like they should be there. I mean, Shanghai. Shanghai's on the cusp here. They're in the yeah. 11th seed. So kind of how playoffs work. Top three from each division, I think, will be moving on to represent the teams in the playoffs. And then the bo bottom, then from six, and then the next six teams will be playing in play-ins. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like top 12 kind of thing. That's what we're going to be kind of seeing where the teams are coming from. And right now, Shanghai is in, in the 11th seed. So they're in a good spot to make the playoffs, especially if they get a strong win here. Um, they do have three games left after this one with they will be one of the teams with the most games left but if they could yep. they can follow up that's uh that'd be great if they can get this win and they get the next win they can they can easily they can actually maybe even move into a full-on playoff spot where they're actually uh not in plants <laughs> that makes sense Five, yeah so four, both three, these teams of course two, Looking to uh, pop off in those as well as they fight for those final positions. Just basically shaking it up. Yep. And we do see Jets. Where they're going to try to tell you the point here. Um, Paris probably is expecting it. They did it last time. They have to. They do drop. They get the wall. They play it perfectly. But they do give up high ground in the process, which is going to be kind of problematic. <laughs> um, yeah, be but interesting. We do see Dreamy finding Rixada's move. DMAC, <laughs> God, I can't speak right now. And that's gonna be a huge pick. The Rhines are both kind of just playing high ground. And Vic just does find Rose there with an early pick. That's gonna be very problematic. We see the Telly from one side to the other. And it's gonna be kind of Shanghai having the advantage. No Reaper on the side of Paris. And the baby Diva just gonna be getting the mech on the other side. Rose needs to come back soon. Ranger finds Boon though. And now he's gonna be able to swing. He's. They, do, they need to find more picks, and Ranger gets a little over-aggressive here and will fall as well. That was not the pick they wanted to happen, and that will be Paris losing the fight. Yeah, I mean, you had that huge Maywall out there from Epster that took down Boom, basically. The healers couldn't get him, but nothing followed up with that. They just kind of sat there on the point. I mean, they were down Rosé, but oh, in that situation, uh, you have Ranger to you have went to in do pretty something. aggressive there. Yeah. Um, and when you lose your Reinhardt, you're already down one. Like your Reinhardt's a pretty key key part of that lineup. I think unless he unless he has that full support, unless he, like they coordinate that Dreamy will give him the Nano, it's gonna be very hard for him to swing at all. Um, just because they have that Sim and the Sim's gonna be a problem. But they do we see uh, Jet's still on it and will have the ult for next fight, which could be problematic for the alts of uh, Paris here, because they need to get a four minute hold to even tie this map. Yeah, they need this one now. Shanghai that can go up to the high ground. Rose falling low. Jets using his alt in a really odd position there. Probably misclick that. The high noon is out. Finds no one, but they will get the DMEC on Vaporblade in the back. Vaporblade will find Jerexada. The nano is out. Rosé will find Jets, and that could be what they need. The pin is out on Ranger Who, but the shatter is massive! Boons will fall, and so will Invictus. And even though it looked like Paris was gonna... might not have been able to hold that, they will get that first hold. Mm -hmm. But they do yeah. still have to do that for three more minutes, so... 
Yeah, Jets didn't really have the best wall there, but at, on the other side of it, they only used a dead eye during that fight with the Moira ult, but she'll get that back. It's That's not something to worry about. So they, they keep good ultimates online as Jets goes over to the May. That's another good ultimate, of course, just for one tick too. So they're still in good position. Yeah, both teams have a similar amount of ults. If they can keep Rose on the high ground and uncontested there and maybe get a DMEC on Rexada, he'll have a basically a free high noon, which is going to be huge here. We do see Jets on the high ground looking for the ult, trying to get into a position where they can throw it without the DMEC eating it. The bomb is out. Could be huge. Ranger does not fall. The, he's going to fall, though. The beat just keeps him up. Both beats are out. The male finds no one. And it's going to be a even fight yet again. The pin gets out on Ranger. Ranger falls low. Rosé gets two, and Evster will fall, but huge pick by Rosé will get that fight. I'm on the same yeah. high noon. Just free range there in the back line. Rex didn't have his defense matrix up and couldn't find couldn't find the angle, basically. Uh, Boone also, during that fight, charges uh, Ranger into his team. So even though it does a lot of damage, gets him a little out of position, Boone's the one that gets punished for that because... He's in no man's land at that point. He gets taken out. We'll see what they can do on this next push. Is they're going around this left side, maybe. I haven't seen that just yet from anyone. We'll see if that does anywhere. The left side could be interesting. Um, they will be. They won't be in a position where they can get really any picks here, but they will also be blocking a lot of damage. But they find Evster and Dreamy, and those picks could just be what they need. The bomb has to be massive. I don't think they're going to get anyone. Vaporblade just gets his deck, but Ranger's going to go down as well. There goes Brick Breaker. And that should be the point. The Diva finds the Ana up top. They lose two before the fight even starts, and that's just going to give Shanghai the point. Yeah, Shanghai takes a good angle there around that left side and finds the picks, just like you said. They didn't really expect it. They didn't have the right cover. And it just kind of steamrolled when you don't have Dreamy there. A huge character that Ana is with those anti-nades. Can't find one, obviously. And Shanghai wins map two. Kind of commanding, to be honest. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, I mean, it just seemed like Shanghai was basically unstoppable during those last few fights. As up to, I mean, that's that's just a huge, huge uh, advantage to have. I mean, now you're in match point situation. You only need to win one, so you got a lot less stress if you lose. Yeah. Uh... If you lose this one, you you know you can you still yeah. have the other one to win. Um, both maps were actually pretty close there. Um, obviously Shanghai was pretty dominant on their attacks on yeah. Horizon, but it was still very close almost to the end. They only had like a minute left on their attack, so it could be I could easily see this map Paris winning the next two. Um, it just it really just depends on how how the how these two teams play. We do see Cherry coming back in. <laughs> on this Reinhardt play on Hollywood, so that could be huge. And mm -hmm. DPS is going to be back in as well. I'm pretty sure he was playing so that full tank line of swap by Paris. Yeah. yeah, that's an interesting thing to do, bring one duo in and take the other duo out in maps like that. But it, maybe it's just what they prefer playing. Um, we, we know they went over to the dive, so maybe Cherry's Winston isn't as good and... He just works better with DPS. I couldn't really tell you exactly why, but... I don't know. Uh, the thing is, it's like, if you have two tanks that work really well together, and you have mm -hmm. another two tanks yeah. that work really well together, even if they run similar things, there's you might as well see which who's playing better on yep. a given day, I guess. But yeah, yeah, I'd assume I Ranger would be the better monkey player. The, they're kind of the dive duo. And yeah. then Cherry and DPS are kind of the... Ryan, Diva, Ryan, Zarya kind of kind of duo. Yeah. And let's see if they can go right into Hollywood, try to get this game not be too slow. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, we don't want that. We want, we want more content. I mean... Yeah, we don't, we don't want a break. That'd be boring. Yeah. <laughs> like like an analyst desk? That'd be so dumb. I, that's... <laughs> uh, no analyst Who, desk today. You know. Whoever thinks of that is just the worst. <laughs> Analyst tests are fun, dude. Don't I? Yeah, they are. They are, they are. I'm just, I'm just messing with size right now. <laughs> they are fun. Uh, we just gotta wait on one more team to ready up, and then we're in a pretty good situation. Yeah, Shanghai, the underdog right now, kind of commanding the game. 
They really haven't seemed a step behind since that first map on Busan. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, make sure you drop a follow on the stream Altitude Esports. Mock Overwatch League 2 0 right now for Shanghai at at the half. Well, we'll say it's the half. It, I mean, we could go to a map that. five and then and then the half is what? Like midway through Hollywood would be the half if we go to a map five, but I I guess uh, it's Hollywood's always yeah we're 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 technically halfway done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if if we see this map won by Shanghai, it's halfway done. But a lot can happen. Paris has to really put it together, though, and I really do think it comes down to stopping Booney. Um, he has just a lot of resources, and has just a lot more ability to hit the shatters, get the damage in with the Reinhardt. We'll yeah, see if Sherry can step step up. Yeah, Sherry is getting blocked quite a bit there. Usually, he's really good at getting the, uh, the shatters because he plays so aggressive. Um, it's hard if you're going to get blocked to get the value when you're playing that aggressive. You need those quick follow up shatters to to save your ass if you get too aggressive there. But uh, yeah, I can definitely see if if he can start hitting those shatters easily coming mm -hmm. back there. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> Jets with the foul, watching the stream and playing the game at the same time. Come on, but yeah, multitasking. Come on. Yeah. Thank you for that one. Swinging on a few more readies, as Pink Sox, Pink Sox have to put it together. They have to get their mental back on track. It's it's hard in a game like this. You're down 2-0. You you're technically the favorite team, you know, since you have the better record and all, but. You lose the first two maps and you're like, is something wrong today? What's wrong with us? You just got to get a good mental reset right now. I don't know. The, the teams aren't aren't that far apart. Paris is 6th, mm -hmm. Shanghai is yeah. 11th. Like, they're both very close teams. But Shanghai is also hasn't, like, they've had a pretty bumpy season. They haven't really had the chance to prove themselves. So this, yeah. this is kind of like their game. If they can come out here and get a huge win, this is, uh, this could be kind of what they need. Yeah, definitely right be, now. Uh, they, Both. they don't look bad, that's for sure. And that that can put them in great position for the playoffs as well. You, you you look at how they're playing right now. You if you're one of the topper teams, you don't you don't want to go up against these guys. You don't want to lose your season because you underestimated them at all. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's a lose your season type game. <laughs> Paris will be making playoffs no matter what happens in this game. Um, it's, it's more of a mindset game. Losing a yeah. close like a game, well, you should win right before the playoffs. If you got you got to make sure it doesn't like get in your head if they do lose but i can see paris coming back here getting the reverse sweep on the shenanigans i'm not going to say it's going to happen but paris is a team that could do it we've seen it before we saw them mm -hmm. beat the atlanta brain we've seen them go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the top teams so it's kind of just a matter of which team uh comes out on that day but yeah yeah a, a lot can happen i mean right. as you said philly and new york they're they're pretty much in command but after that, it's up for grabs for a lot of these teams. Yeah. But, hmm, the real question is, <laughs> we're halfway through this map. Who do you, who do you think for MVP right now? Oh, MVP. Hollywood. I mean, I feel like I haven't stopped talking about him, but Booney has just been an absolute madman on the Reinhardt. Wh whoever's in the game, it's either if it was Ranger or Cherry, he's just been pretty dominant with his shatters, his blocks. His damage mitigation, everything that Reinhardt's do well. So yeah, I can't. I I, I have to agree. Have to if for for Shanghai. Booney's been playing excellently. His team hasn't been getting shattered when he's on the Reinhardt. His team, he's been getting more shadows than the enemy Rhine. He's been staying alive a lot. He's not overextending. Like that's kind of what you need for Rhine. Yep. And in a meta where it's kind of very Rhine dominated because you're playing around him very like very heavily. Yeah. When your Reinhardt's playing like that, it's uh, very easy for your team to take an advantage like they have. I find the yeah, yeah. Not, and for Paris, I'd have to give it to uh, Efser. Playing very well. Having huge, huge damage yeah. and and That's huge... Well. Kind of just huge impact on all the roles he's been playing. He's been kind of forced on this May, so it's not you don't get to see as much of him. No. But yeah. I, I do want to highlight Dreamy as well. He has been getting picked off, which deters his chances for MVP a little bit, but I just feel like his anti nights have made a lot of unwinnable fights winnable on the side of Paris. Like he, he's been really just one press of a button and tides change. 
But a lot of those situations, I don't know if it was really Dreamy's fault for being picked off. I know, like, yes. when you're running, running the D.Va, if you're getting dove, you, you need the D.Va counter dive. Yeah. No, nothing you can really do. But yeah, Dreamy's, with these anti nades have been very helpful for his team to take advantage of on these fights. And we do see Shanghai taking the high ground very smoothly, look very rehearsed. Yeah, they're, they're right up there. Have strat here. It's kind of just kind of a shield war here with both McCree's just trying to find a pick, trying to find the damage, trying to break the Ryan shield. The wall is kind of up by Jets there. And Cherry's going to fall extremely low. Does get healed up, but he's still getting frozen here. They need to find some picks. Boone is just swinging away. Both Cherry and Boone kind of just having free reign here. No picks on either team yet. Boone is on the point. The Nano is out already by Dreamy. Oh, but that the charge there from advantage. They do get Brick Breaker and they lose DPS's mech. And that's just, they don't have enough support for Cherry there. It's gonna fall after uh, Brick Breaker gets pinned and that's gonna be uh, Shanghai. Dominant first point. Maybe it does come down to Edgy Pigeon on the Moira a little bit. Just more AoE healing in a way, manages to get more healing around. And it just seemed like during that entire fight, Paris was kind of on the back foot. They were they were always half HP or lower, at least the tanks. And then DPS did lose his mech. It just didn't seem like enough sustain was there. But on the side of Shanghai, they they were always full health. Booney had no problem swinging around, getting that shatter. And he has it right now, and he's they're in a sneaky position to get this one on. And then he's gonna drop in the back line, of course. DPS on the high ground here, gonna get focused off by. And Poon's gonna fall to Evster, gets frozen while the Divas are kind of doing their own thing. And like up top, the bomb is out, doesn't really find anything there. I don't really know what Rixada was looking for there. He's gonna get picked by Rose. And Invictus does find DPS's mech, but all in all, Paris is gonna come out with a fight win. Yeah, what I expected there was for Booney to drop down, drop the shatter, but he dropped in the middle of two sets of two players and he got walled off and frozen up and it wasn't a problem to deal with him but well, now it's happening right. nothing you can really do <laughs> and great pick by uh, rose they're fine the rabs with the high noon and that's just gonna keep shanghai at bay they can't really push in until they get a full team and they can't really uh get a full team if they uh keep getting picked off yeah but rabs is back shouldn't be a problem there only a few seconds off but valuable seconds are valuable seconds high noon's gonna come out Gets Evster here, but Cherry's just holding the Shatter. The Shatter gets Lucio, but that's not enough. Cherry gets the counter blocked. Oh, I know. And that's gonna be, it looks like if he can keep swinging in, they can win this fight. He's gonna be close to another Shatter almost. The beat is out, gonna keep Cherry up. Boone is falling low. They need to keep Cherry alive. He does fall, the bomb is out, finds no one, but Rosé will get Invictus. They're gonna need to back up without Cherry's main tank. Huge anti by Dreams finds Boone. They're still on this point. Rixada falling low, but DPS is going to get DMAC first because of that wall. Parrish needs to die on point, kind of reset here. They do have the alt advantage, or they are, all, are even with all, so it doesn't really matter if they can just reset here. Yeah. A huge anti there just to buy a little time, but again, it was just more resources going into Boone there. He, he did fall, but. Cherry just couldn't really do much, didn't have as much healing, didn't have as much support, DPS wasn't really there with him, and it just took a matter of time to tick him down and get him out of the fight. Yeah. Well, when you're getting focused by their whole team, sometimes it's hard to know how aggressive you can be, especially when you have that beat. The mail is out by both teams, both Rhines will get caught, Cherry will probably get frozen here, but Invictus is going to go down, same with Brick Breaker. Cherry's trying to look for a Shatter here, isn't full HP, he's gonna probably fall low. The Shatter gets both supports, but he will be falling down. Just not enough to keep him up. Evster will find Boon here because of the supports being Shattered. But Rosé's gonna go down as well. Dreamy, I think, loses his Nano, trying to keep Rosé up there. And it's gonna be a very close fight, and I, but I think Paris can win this with the quick respawns. Evster with a huge wall, trying to gate some of this damage. The bomb is out, I don't know if that was needed. Finds no one there, and Invictus will look back. He's gonna find Evster on the side, the anti gets him, and Paris is gonna kinda have progressive here. We do see a huge pin, doesn't get anyone, kinda throw him there, Boone, I don't know where you're going there. The high noon is out, and Invictus needs to find someone, gets no one eaten by the Diva. Cherry's gonna fall low, will fall to Jets, Dream is gonna go down next. 
and DPS will get DMAC, so yeah. Shanghai gonna probably be able to push this through. Another high noon. Don't know if that one's gonna do anything. The wall's there right in front of his face. He's walking around, doesn't find it. Does not find oh, anyone. Still investing. And Brickbreaker will fall down. I do not know why they invested the May out there. The shatter is That's massive. Why. They have the anti. They didn't focus Boone, though. There it doesn't matter. It matters to do it. Huge for his team. Wow. Yeah. Just, yeah, wow. I mean... The high noon comes out just to buy some time. Seconds. Then Abster uses the blizzard to buy more time and Sherry just jumps right out. And Booty couldn't do anything about it. He was in the middle of that blizzard and the entire team gets shattered. And you might not have your full team, but you have the DPS. <laughs> it is the worst so. to be in that Ryan situation. I don't know if yes. you're... I play a lot of Reinhardt. You charge back to point. You show up <laughs> and the second your charge ends, you're like, okay, I'm back at point. Our team's winning. And then you get shattered. <laughs> And you're like, they're like, okay, well, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> Damn. But now they have ultimates and they have the high ground. Don't see this off either. Shanghai does have the advantage here. They only... Yeah. But they do have both support ults that can keep the team alive. The Jets, yeah. DPS eats Jets ult and then will eat the Kree ult as well. The Shatter finds Brick Breaker. He's probably going to fall here. Evster will go down to Boone. The beat is out. Cherry is going to be swinging. Needs to find the value here. The Nano is going to be huge. They need to find someone. They need Cherry needs to get the Nano. They need to they need to get the Shatter. They need something. He's going to be falling low. They don't really have the support for him. He's under 100 HP for this whole fight. If they can bring him back, he has the Shatter. Will he do it? He, got he gets it. another one. The beat does save it. Right with a huge beat. And that's gonna be Cherry almost saves that fight, but Ravs is just a little quicker. They do find Ravs, but it's just gonna be Epster kind of stalling on point here. Yeah, I don't think you should mail. Just mail stays alive. Kind of bad here. Yeah. yeah. So don't think they'll be using it. Epster didn't get the respawn. But again, Ravs staying up during that shatter. If he if he's shattered down during that. That's probably a team fight lost. Cherry just couldn't stay alive after doing that. Didn't have his... Just, again, those resources weren't there. He couldn't follow up on his own shatter like that. Yeah, and he was alive there. It's risky. He probably knew he was going to die when he went for the shatter. I think his hope was that he got the Lucio and his team could follow up. He will fall extreme. Oh, there. He does get healed up. The Diva will get anti, but it's not really going to have any effect there. Yeah, still back and forth. And Shanghai, Cherry just... Have the ult advantage. Yeah, that's um, it. Really depends I mean, if Jess can actually get his alt off or it will get eaten yet again. DPS does do that. The mail Mr. is out. Cherry's gonna make it out. It's gonna catch Efster there on the point. But Efster uses his ult. It's gonna find Jets. Huge picks there, and that's gonna be Paris with the advantage. There's only 30 seconds left on this Shanghai attack, and they they just need to if they can follow up here, they do. Shanghai does get Evster, but Ravs will go down as well. It's still a semi-even fight, but with no Lucio, it's going to be very difficult for Shanghai to push this. Yeah, they had Evster in a good position to take him out. Oh, Jets hitting the up top there. Rose had no idea he was coming, but again, Evster didn't get taken out when he was in a good position, but they're investing Coalescence now as they, they have they the go in. If they beat early here, Jets does find Dreamy, though, in the back. And they're gonna lose that nano. Brick Breaker, you gotta use your ult there. They do get the ult out. So they need to find someone. Invictus gets it. The Shatter gets one. Edgy Pigeon will be down. Boone's gonna fall as well. Cherry gets two. Esther and Brick Breaker will fall in the back. But that, with the spawn advantages, that should be Harris with the, the hold on map point three. But Rad is still on point. He's doing work. Trying to there, off unless he somehow boops the whole team up. It's going to be very difficult. They do come back on the ball. Tracer, they might be able to get something done. Really, DPS just needs to throw his ult up here like he's doing, and that's going to kind of finish that, all, that point off. Yeah, it gets two there. Pretty easy for him. A good push there from Shanghai. Almost get it all the way. So Hollywood still... Still pretty easy to take for them. They need a good defense. They need to just put it together a little more, but... Paris, pretty commanding. They, they just kept losing the one fight that they needed to win in Saint. But now going back onto their offense, do they stick with this May McCree comp? They, they've been a little passive, I, I feel like. They haven't had enough resources to put into Cherry to keep him up while he tries to play his aggro style. I, and that's I, really cost them. I think you do need the McCree just 
just because you need the mails. You need, mm. If they throw a mail out, you need a mail. If they have a mail wall out, you need a mail wall. And Rose has honestly been having a huge impact on this Kree. This whole fight, he's been getting... The last couple maps, he's been doing a lot of damage on, with these high noons. And we do see Invictus and Jet swapping it up. Invictus was not as successful on that last Attackers map. Didn't really find the high noons. And Jets didn't really find the May, May alts. Uh, a lot of good eats by DPS, but it's also very telegraphed. Uh, yeah. Didn't really wait till uh, the D.Va <laughs> defense matrix is down. I, I get my shit eat all the time because I do that as well. But it happens. It happens. It's just how the game works. The thing with Invictus using these high noons, though, they're not getting 4Ks or anything, but the meme is always it's a zoning ult, but sometimes that is what you need. You get that position back, you you take some space, just because that ultimate doesn't allow anyone to go through, but round double shield again with this pocketed Ash. They ran this on Horizon, we'll see if it works out again. With the pocket Ash, you really, you're relying on your Ash to hit an obscene amount of shots. Yeah. And that's kind of... That's kind of your that's kind of your strat. You have to hope that your Ash is just popping off in every aspect of this map. And we do see Cherry pushing and falling low on fire. Rosé will go down, and that's going to be a quick end to that fight there. Cherry's going to be kind of stuck in there, and DPS is going to lose their mech. The wall is actually going to go out, but I don't think that I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. Cherry's probably just going to end up dead here. Spoon does go and try to follow up. I don't know why they're pushing through this tiny little area. Not going to work. Um. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned you need the, those shots to hit, but Ash also has that dynamite. And when they push through it a little corridor like that, it's pretty easy to throw that dynamite in there and get a ton of value. As Bob is already online. Unless your diva is like yeah. being big brain, it's very hard. It's Ash is just gonna get hit dynamite no matter what you're doing. Um, but going through a tiny little corridor makes basically guarantees that your whole team's gonna get hit by that, and that's not very good. <laughs> Oh, a huge eat there. Huge eat by DPS yet again, getting Jets' is all Boon will fall after getting the Shatter off, and that's going to be a huge pick by Ping Sauce. Cherry will be kept up on the point, and Rexaxis is going to fall. Boon will get res on the high ground, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. They do nano Rexaxis to keep him up, but he's, and he will find Rosé, but it should be Paris. They find Dreamy as well. I don't know what's going on. The beat is huge. Just enough to keep Cherry up. The anti might be... Might hold Cherry. You are one health. Why would you charge? They do find Boone. Jets is gonna go down. Mercy's on the high ground, but it's just not really gonna be enough. Yeah, a very messy fight there. It really seemed like Boone and Jets could have used their ults better at the beginning of that fight and held it, held on to them for later on. Also, want to mention Edgy Pigeon just walks up to the high ground and gets the res with Rose and Dreamy right next to him. Didn't even turn around. They just let it happen. But. I would Hold call on. it a sneaky res, it was very yeah. uh, telegraph, but it, 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 it works, so that's what matters. Yeah. But again, I mean that's that's good time off the clock. You, you didn't finish you didn't finish the map, so you're you're basically just trying to hold on for as long as you can. Invictus still on this ash putting it work. The bomb comes out. They're gonna try to find one. Esther's gonna go down instead. I shattered my food. Cherry, you can't let them do that. Cherry, you literally just wrote, I'm the ultimate crushing machine. <laughs> you can't say that and then get shattered. <laughs> but, I mean, it's fundamentals there from Cherry standing on the cart, which I don't know if you know this, but the shatter doesn't get blocked when you're on the cart like that, even with your shield up. So Cherry just falls immediately, as, as does the rest of his team. That's a team up there, booting another massive shatter. The mail is out. By Jets, does not get eaten this time, but it's gonna wall Cherry off from his team, and he's not really gonna notice that. And that's gonna be another fight win for Shanghai with very few alts. Yeah, again, another zoning alt, as we like to call them, as Jets puts the Blizzard down and really splits up Cherry from the rest of the healers, rest of the damage. So it's easy to pick him off while he's out alone like that, especially well, with all the damage. He has to kind of separate uh, yeah. the bail. So, and Cherry exactly. does just going, he, the way Cherry's playing is he needs a, an obscene amount of support mm -hmm. because he's trying to do as much damage as possible. And the wall is out. They have to punish the Ryan or someone with that. The shatter is out. Cherry was on the other side. Not really there. Boone's going to be caught out, gets nanoed, and both teams are going to be even. The pick on Evster is going to give Shanghai the advantage here. And Paris, what are you doing? You, you got yeah. to get the point yeah. here. 
See, a big thing coming up from this double shield, it really allows Boonie to play a lot more freely because you have the Orisa shield in the back protecting the supports and like the Lucio and the damage dealers. So they have free range in the back while Booty can just swing up top all he wants. Kick on Esther. Yes. And they have Invictus with the Mercy Pocket on the high ground. And they can't do anything about it. You would want DPS to go up there, but I mean he'll just he'll just be beamed down as well. And that leaves the rest of your team pretty much free. Yeah, you kinda have to Use the Kree and DPS to try to zone him off. Esther, we do see, gets his ult out. Gonna get the tanks. Ryan's gonna get caught in that, but he will be beside the shield. Esther's gonna fall, and the bomb's gonna get caught out. They need to find some value. The Shatter gets three down. Cherry, you did it again. And that's gonna be uh, Paris getting the, getting the win, fight when they need. Um, they're yeah. gonna have to win another one to take this point, so uh, getting, getting that one will be huge. Yeah. yeah. They have to win as many as they can. <laughs> Yeah, Cherry finally hits that shatter, and it's just exactly what they need, as you said. Drops down four members, and there's no chance. Booty's gonna want his revenge here, almost at that shatter himself. Standing around this corner, this game is very, uh, which ride can shatter the most yeah. people. It Not really a lot seems of blocks like. going on this map. Before it was the exact opposite. The beat's gonna come out for Cherry. Cherry, you gotta swing when you get the beat in, and and this is gonna get pressured off really quickly. The mail comes out. The beat gets the Ana though. And that's going to be a huge pick. Jets is kind of stuck in the back here. And he's going to fall to Rosé. And that's going to be two picks. All they, they do res the, the Ana. But can they can they follow up? Cherry's going to get hit with the anti. He's low. They do get the Ana yet again. The, we do see Jets coming back on the Doomfist. The Bob is gone. They need to find some value. They do get Edgy and Boone. And Paris is going to get that point. And now all they have to do is push it to 72. Well, I think they're getting the point. If they'll get this point, you know, that's... Yeah, that'd be pretty insane. <laughs> but there you go. I mean... That's it. Jets and Victor's... You really got to pop if you're going you're gonna to win that fight. Yeah, that fight was basically dictated off that huge pick there from DPS. Rebs couldn't get around the corner. The res came through. But Rebs was still caught out by himself. Even after the res got picked off there, Boone couldn't find any place for his shatter. Okay, so Cherry has a shatter. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it as 2k. I'm going to say 2k... Boone's okay. gonna block it from himself, but he's not gonna actually just force his plane back. So maybe, maybe, maybe he'll just get one like a deep or something. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens. Still back and forth around this card. Sherry looking for it. He wants it really bad. You can just tell the way he's playing. <laughs> and oh, what a... just threw that right into the Rexada. Um, not very hard for your side to eat that. And Boone shields, he's not gonna have a shield there. Cherry, he doesn't have a shield. No one has a shield. Cherry. The Shatter falls. Oh, it gets Bob. They get Bob. That's one, I guess. I count that. They do need that Kirksada in the back. Jets will fall, but so will Cherry. Esther's gonna go down next. They need to find value on this high noon. Boone has the shield up. And they're not, not gonna get anything. They don't have the ride. Boone gets a little aggressive. They are gonna fall low, but Parrish just doesn't have what they need to push in. They don't have a lot of alts. And ah, that's it's gonna be tough for them to win this map. Yeah, I wanna say that uh the Bob there got booped by the the uh And Brick Breaker, you ha you you can't die like that. You you have the alt. You're the most important. And they're gonna fall because of that. And that's it's just kind of follow follow up now. You're down main hit. You're down your Lucio, you're down the Rhine. And Brick Breaker falling early. Uh... Yeah, that's tough. It's not looking good here for the side of Paris. It's just staggers at this point. Rose is going to find Edgy Pigeon, but it's really not going to be enough. Jets is still going, going all over the place in the back line. And that's going to be uh, Paris with taking the win 3-0. And gonna, if they can get this 4-0, that could be huge. Uh, Shanghai gets the 1-3-0, not Paris. <laughs> but either way, Shanghai takes it 3-0 from now. 4-0, even better if they can get that. Play of the game. Basically putting themselves in a great position for the playoffs coming up. Cherry and Boone going at it. Cherry gets a play of the game, but Boone seems to get better as these maps go on. Great game from him so far.
That last fight, Jets comes back on the Doomfist, takes out Brick Breaker right when right when they need him most with that sound bear, and it doesn't happen if you, haven't seen you at home are enjoying what yet. you're watching right now, because I know I am as this 3-0 is coming through, potentially a 4-0. Make sure you follow the stream. Stick around for some more games coming up as well. We're getting into the meat of the season. Final few games, then the playoffs. It should be exciting for sure. Cry. I mean, now that we know yeah. Shanghai has won, do you have an MVP other than Booney? Uh, I'd have to give it to Booney, honestly. The shatters are yeah. huge all around. It's he's their their whole team's playing well, but Booney is definitely mm -hmm. showing up. I've seen other games where he hasn't been as strong. He's been focused off quite a bit. Yeah. You know, just just to change up the conversation a little bit, I feel like Jets has also been putting in tons of work. Uh, it comes back on that Doomfist a lot, which is very interesting. Uh, but some people just like playing Doomfist a lot better. And he gets picks after picks. We saw it, especially there in Hollywood, of course, that pick onto Brick Breaker. But, I mean, just in cra crazy stuff from Jess. I mean, and also his may also... He, he gets them eaten a lot. I mean, that's for sure. But nonetheless, he does his job. He's he's had some good. He's had some very good mayalts. Not not just ones that got eaten. So I give owner someone. Oh fuck! It's not really worth it. The end. Either way now, going into the fourth map. Pink Sox. Unlu unlucky match there from them. Again, a lot of males being eaten. DPS and Rex have been absolutely incredible on these divas right now. I mean It just seems like the, these guys are everywhere. Divas a huge a huge character to have in this meta. Uh, when you can eat all the alts, like high noons get basically no value because of the diva and also those blizzards talked about it with jets got like what 500 may all eaten i'm a rough estimate but i'm pre pretty sure i'm pretty close been pretty dominant there for the divas yeah very very dominant <laughs> both divas yeah. eating a ton of alts um mm -hmm. both may is not doing the best job of <laughs> hiding their alts but uh it happens sometimes. It does happen. Well, sometimes you feel like you need it. You just toss it in there without really thinking. And it's usually how it goes. If you're not thinking right now, make sure you follow the stream. Or if you are thinking, you can follow too. But both, both thinkers and th non-thinkers, always, always appreciate the follow on the stream. As we're going to our fourth map, Dorado this time. We saw Pink Sox run to dive a little bit. Cry, do you think they'll bring it out again this map? Maybe. Um, they, they, I don't know. It depends on how much they want this last map. Yeah. It'll be good practice. You know, buff up your dive a little bit here. And Dorado's definitely a place you can run it. There's a lot of high ground, but shenanigans run out. Some more shenanigans with the May or... It's hard to dive against a May and a Batiste and all that, but... Nonetheless, we'll see what... They come out with. Should be pretty exciting. I'm gonna be right back, Brian. You're gonna be talking on your own for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely fine. I'm more than happy to talk about some good old Overwatch. Sure, go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna Sorry. make you uh, owner then. I'll be right back. All right. I guess I gotta join you for a few. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, you're you don't do this much. What, not, what, not what's it like? Usually. I don't know. I don't like <laughs> talking. I mean, I feel like you have enough practice just from, you know, listening to everyone. All I just say is it's absolutely crazy. Like, what is even going on here? It's like all I get from you. It, it has it has been pretty crazy. That's for sure. Uh, it's been so score, it's been so crazy. Crysdale just had to leave. <laughs> he just couldn't take it anymore. That's what happened. He's like, ah, this, this game just. Yeah, his bets just didn't work out. <laughs> it really seemed like Pink Sox would bring this better, but a lot of just misplays from them 
looking at brick breaker not to call anyone out but you know some some beats just not not hitting like they should yeah no like there were a lot of beats that were used when they were like both your dps dead maybe just to save like a tank and him or mm. a lot of beats that seem to just like get used when definitely like not when yeah. they should have or like his whole team shattered and you should have beat it because you're alive and he beats after like two people are dead and it wasn't because yeah. it was late it was because like they were properly dead yeah no, i i know i know exactly what you're talking about there just maybe not the best ultimate he's been trying to use it to save points as well which in theory is a good idea but sometimes it's just way too much to keep it under wraps yeah i do like the swap over from a uh... Edgy Pigeon. Uh, the Morris seems to work out a lot better than mm -hmm. that. Anna. That's true. There definitely seems to be a lot more heals, and their tanks aren't quite so reluctant yeah. to push in. I know yeah, lose that, that's, nano, that's a great point. Yeah, the Nano's a great great tool to use, but Coalescence is also pretty good. Uh, and when you're playing more close quarters comps, it's it's not hard to get those Coalescence and get value out of them. Yeah, I mean, as everybody says, uh, the more of healing is uh, not a big brain. Granted, not saying yeah, you can't well, do big brain plays with it, but as far as yeah. that, you it's can pretty heal a lot of people without having to aim. Yeah. It's pretty simple. It gets the job done. Yeah, and I mean, when you're pumping ah, out that yeah. many heals into your tanks too, you're absolutely like, you're keeping yeah. them up for a long time. It's super helpful to your team. Yeah. This has been pretty interesting. And also, Edge Pigeon has also been going to the Mercy a little bit to damage boost Invictus, which... Gets a lot of value as well. Dynamite. It, it's basically like being anti. You can't really push in. It's the most frustrating thing, personally, I think, to play against in the game. I would much rather play against a May than just nonstop Dynamites who's landing him. Because he's landing almost every single one. I rarely see any of mm -hmm. them get eaten. And they're always hitting like three people. Yeah. It just it's hard to push in when you're when you're burning like that. It does a lot of damage, especially when it's damage boosted. But now, finally, we'll be going into Dorado. We'll see. Maybe Victus will pull out the Ash again with that high ground advantage. Should be exciting to see. Yeah, it seems like they're only running the Ash Initiating on the defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's been pretty consistent. Yeah. Yeah. She does command that high ground a lot better because she does have that CC ability, so you can boot people if they're getting too close. But with the McCree, you, you do get more consistent damage most of the time you know what i mean yeah yep yep ready for battle that's for sure yeah i know exactly what you mean there attackers incoming in 30 seconds <sighs> Um, yeah, I would say so. That's my number one. <laughs> Come on. That'd be interesting. I'm back. Five, four, Wait, three, I'm not back. Wait, two, I said join game. One, oh, I, I need an invite. <laughs> There we go. Now I'm back. There we go. Now we have an interesting dive-ish type comp coming out, but Invictus is on the Widow, trying to just get a crossfire as they work their way up to the Nano Blade. Oh, and they're gonna find Epster right away. I have a problem for that dive to come through here. Damage gets chunked in, and Paris is already on the back foot. I'm just loading in. Range Rover going low. His immortality field comes out to save him there. Rip Breaker goes over to the Batiste, but damage is still coming through. They don't have their McCree to add to that DPS. So they're just being pushed back. But now they're kind of full health yet again, so it's going to be another dive coming through. Booty with on the ball gets stunned up by Epster, who's back into the fight. Rex, not long does he follow as well. It's going to be a one team fight right through that choke there. Just close to that blade, though, the Nano Blade. Could really push him through this point yeah and paris finally having this advantage here they just they need to win this map they need to come back they need to feel good and that this, yeah. this would definitely help them feel better about the the results of this map for sure 
Yeah, that's Currently, sure. they're uh, they're not in the best situation. So after already losing the map 3-0. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep your mental bolstered a little bit as this nanoblade is basically online after one fight. So you can see another one coming in here. I like to see the dive by Shanghai. Um, obviously, they're. A little cocky now they won one and Jets is gonna come in find Abster, find Rose, finds Ranger, and uh nothing you really do against Nailblade. Dreamy finds Invictus though. Poor Invictus. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to deal with that battle mercy sometimes. Rez isn't gonna come in as well, but Jets just doing tons of work. Honestly, I think Paris could come back and retake this if they were playing aggressive, but they're just gonna let it stay. They have the shatter, they don't really have any to block it with except because they're running a dive con, so. It would be interesting to see if Ranger decides to swap here, because he will be it will be very hard for him to find value when you're running. Like you have nothing to swing into. Yeah. It is very tough. You got you're being flanked from all sides. It's, it's hard to even protect anyone. The bombs are gonna come out of here from Booney. The Ranger is anti. Everyone is on him. He's gonna fall low. He's gonna go down to Rixada's monkey alt, and that's gonna be a really quick early pick. DPS is gonna go down next. And they they use the Zen alt. I think that must have been a misclick. No, he was stuck there by Rose on the cart, so oh. he used that to keep himself up. And <laughs> I mean, it's not really that big of an issue when you really think about it. There's not there's there's not a Zarya. There's not a Sigma. There's no huge yeah, offense that could I feel like get a team up. Just, it'd be fine if you just died, though. That's true. That's true. I think he just kind of did it to flex on Rosé yeah. as well, so. Rosé finds Invictus, though, so he does get a little revenge here. And even though both tanks are ant, oh, Ranger will go down. Emster will find Pigeon, and Jess is going to go down as well. They find Rabs, and that's going to be a fight win for Paris. Yeah. But, again, they've been just working towards a Nano Blade, and it's online. And Brickbreaker went over to the Lucio, but he's only halfway there. It's it's not even close. It's it's probably going to be another at least 2k. As Jets, pretty good on this Genji from what we've seen so far. He's been building his ultimate pretty quickly. Maybe Upster can get a headshot. Or it's those dragons. The blade, that's that's, that's going to be the the biggest problem here. Yeah. Jets is Nano Blade. They have nothing really to deal with it. And unless they get a huge shatter, they, kill him, they, find, they do actually get both of them. Um, they didn't nano blade, so it doesn't really matter that much. But huge picks, all in all, they find Rabs as well, and that will be Parrish probably winning this fight as well. They do lose Rose, but it's just a tracer. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you're just trying to get as much as you can, and it might be a little uncoordinated coming back here for Paris, but it's it's just not going to be enough. Rex is over onto the D.Va as well. Help out his ball a little bit, maybe. Who also has the mines, so... If you just throw these alts into the fight, you're bound to find a few kills. Boon, both people on Ranger hard here. Uh, he's just gonna keep getting dope. I totally... <laughs> and then Genji will be on the high ground. They do dive him. He doesn't have the dive. If they can get Jets, they do lose Rosé. And it's gonna be the nano blade that's gonna be the biggest problem there. They do <laughs> they do knock Invictus into his own pulse bomb. But it's just really not gonna be enough. They're gonna stall the card as long as possible. Just they do get the trans out, but I don't know if they can come back. They do have the nano, maybe the nano on the rose can win the fight, but it might not be really worth it to be honest with you. Yeah, Rose's back in trying to hit that Zen, but he's not doing enough damage alone by himself on the cart. No, and they're running this Hanzo as well, and that's not going to really be that effective against the dive. No. And Ranger, even with the Nano, just gets eaten alive on the cart. Yeah, and but Paris finds two picks. Well. The beat comes out. That should be able to keep alive most of the team. No one dies to the bomb. They're on Edgy Pigeon in the back. They fall low. I don't know why they don't finish the kill there. They, And that should be a fight with four Paris. They do find yeah. at the last second. And yeah, Shanghai could have had the dominant 4-0, but they kind of just let slip here with this uh, different comp. Yeah, they, they, they tried the nano blade. nano blade. Yeah, they, they tried the nano blade at the beginning of that fight, but the fight was basically already won. They had two picks, and Jets couldn't find anything. He's over to the tracer now as Invictus goes to the McCree, trying to. Yeah, they go full meta. Jets onto the May, as I was just saying, he was on the tracer, but looking to just push it this extra meters. But they don't have ultimates. Yeah, and they decided to take it seriously, but I don't know if it's gonna be it's gonna be in time here. We do like the alt advantage is so heavily in the side of Paris that they're gonna need to spend almost a full fight just building alts while the other team has a full set. 
Range does lose his mech early though. He could shatter here. They can get easy picks on the cart. Not everyone's blocked by the shield. The shield is one on the side of Boone. They need to just finish the shield off and get a shatter to win the fight. Rosé does get it. The shatter gets the ride. The anti is huge. Dreamy gets the anti. The nano comes out. Boone is low on cart. They lose the D.Va. And the huge hot gets two. And that's gonna be Paris. That's gonna be a huge all coming up. Ranger will get frozen though and targeted in the back. He's gonna probably fall. Paris still yeah, does have the advantage with spawns and people alive, but losing your Ryan that early could be the death of them. They do find Jets though. Evster coming off on the Hanzo here. They looking for the Moira. Just the healers. <laughs> Just touching at the last second over and over again. But they find a kill! Oh my god. Evster dies after missing a lot of shots on the mortar there. The shatter gets Diva down. And Boots and an is really close to his. Invictus is gonna get theirs, and that I said it already, but hopefully this fight can end soon. <laughs> the healer's still alive. They haven't died just yet. The bomb's gonna find the right. There's still three on the cart. Um they, they, the Blizzard in as well. <laughs> Ranger might die yet again. Only two left on the cart. Jess will now fall. Edgy Pigeon stalling for 40 minutes straight there. Jess goes down. Wow, that was just the most intense thought I've ever seen. I don't know if they changed Moira's ability or something, but I swear that she went invisible because no one was killing her. Insane stall as well. It just, it just seemed to go on forever there, but... They got a few more meters from that. They took as much time as they needed, but in the end, it's Pink Sox finally with a good hold here and a good win condition for, le for at least one map. Got to hand it to Ranger there. Uh, he's on the runner. He gets a huge shatter, but then he dies. But then he comes back and hits another huge shatter all within that one stall. Pretty crazy to see that going on. And Is part again, of this April Fool's thing just Ryan's saying sh things in chat? Is that? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought people were actually typing that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this doesn't make any sense. And then I went to another game and they were all doing it the same. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. It's probably an April Fool's thing. Attackers incoming in probably an April Fool's thing. Probably an April. Yeah, it is. It's, it's only Reinhardt's though. So yeah. <laughs> as long as you're playing Reinhardt, you'll get to see that in the game. And we do see. Ro yeah. Okay, um, Paris now try to do the dive. The exact um, same thing. Saw how effective it was for Shanghai and decided <laughs> they're going to do it themselves. Yeah, Dreamy has been hitting these antis. We saw it there on that last contest. He had a huge one. Five, we'll see if he can get an four, angle with this one, but three, comp's a little different. Two, they're on that Invictus one. Ash, which we talked about. Coming. Me and Sarth did at least before this map started. So Invictus yeah, looking for the. Where they keep him high yeah. ground with the, with the damage boost and just kind of yeah. go through. Basically, Paris' style here is uh, we play for Nanoblade, and when we Nanoblade, we kill their whole team. And if we screw yep. up Nanoblade, it's not going to be very good. Yeah, you're going to look for falling extremely damage. low. Will needs some heals. DPS is going up there aggressively, but him and Ranger are going to fall extremely low. He's actually probably going to lose his mech there, and, and that's going to be a huge pick. They no longer have anything to die that Ash on the high ground, except for maybe the Genji, but even then, it will be very hard for them to do anything. The monkey's going in aggressive. He's going to be walled. Boone falls low there, but will Ranger be able to get out with the mate? He's going to go in deeper and is slept, and he's probably going to die here. The anti comes out. Boone is one health. They need to find him. Oh, they're not uh, going to. That brick break is going to die. Yeah, they're not um, even. I don't not know even about this widow pick. Blade. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah. Um. Dreamy already yeah. has the nano. So that's yeah, that's, that's good, but after is. Not close, as I said. And we got a hand to Invictus there. He boops range, Ranger away from the dive. Can't get that damage in when he goes in there with the monkey bubble and everything. So it's DPS all alone. And, and, and the damage comes around the swaps, And everyone that swapped, I would have definitely swapped the, the Widow. Um, interesting swap. They were act like the Nano Blade they're getting close to, but I guess they're just going to try to go back to a classic pre-Diva uh, pre here and probably swap Here's Widow after they die or something. Huge wall by Jess, keeps Boone alive, keeps him out of the fight there. And Boone's gonna have a shatter here. They, he does get frozen. He's falling low, the shatter! Boone! Huge. Again. And they I nano mean, DPS I late in the fight. Ranger just did not see it coming at all. Just from the side there, drops it right on. 
cleans up the fight. Booney has done this all game, and he's he's still doing it. Just playing like a maniac right now. Yeah, so Rose does go over to the McCree, switches off that Widow finally. Seemed like the good switch to make here, but then that, that damage boosted. And yeah, she's just gonna find Epsir quickly. Yeah, Epsir's just gonna get picked off nice and early there by Invictus. It's very hard to stop Invictus. He's got that mercy pocket on the high ground. It's very difficult for the Diva to dive them. It's very difficult for really anything unless they, unless they get the mercy to leave. Yeah. Yeah, again, this she's just commanding the high ground that Ash. Invictus doing a great job on that. Almost has Bob. Just it's a one shot headshot for those 200 HP heroes. So it's not hard to get consistent damage and. Yeah, well, you just throw dynamites, you get Bob every yeah, fight. Exactly. And they and they're just protecting with everything they got up there. They have the they have a they have a diva. They have a mercy. Sash is not dying anytime soon. No. They switch over. Put Rose in. Yeah, it's gonna come out. Ranger trying to find. Need a picture. They need to kill the tanks. That's gonna be what wins them this fight here. The bomb they comes do. out. They do find Boone. Jets will find Dreamy, but with no main tank, that will give the let them aggress easily. Huge sleep by Rabs and Boone's gonna get rezzed. Um, Paris, guys, what are, guys, you had it. You had a little further than this. Yeah. What? You have all your alts. That should help. You have four ultimates online. They used the nano there onto the Lucio mid fight. Again, an interesting pick. That might have just been missed there from Dreamy, but. You're basically going up four alts against one bomb. Yep. We'll see if it works out. You know, depends on how valid. Like, if he puts the bomb in the right spot, gets a squish or something. Like, Invictus is literally no one is shooting him because no one can get up there. DPS dives him, but the mercy is just the mercy pocket is just too good. The sleep was huge on the bomb. They they're just gonna kill the front line. That's I guess that's their yep. strategy here. If three of them that, are gonna play in the back, there's no point in not just killing Boone, killing Reb, and then. Now they don't really have anything to win this fight with. Yeah. Jets will go down. The Mercy's going to miss the res, and that's going to be getting first point. Yeah, like you said, they, they realized it was like three on three one way, three the other way. So they just pretty much W key into that front line. Booney goes down, anteed up. He got frozen up as well, which sucks because uh, when you play Reinhardt, you don't want that to happen to you. That kind of brings the fun out of the game, but. No, getting walled, frozen, stunned. Love that. Not really oh, the best feeling. Idea. Yeah, that's okay. my favorite. <laughs> I like it sometimes if I'm just in that kind of mood, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of mood that is. You just don't like playing um, the game, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes I just hate playing the game. But the beat comes out here. Shatter, shatter, you should have shot him! He was frozen! Oh my god, Ranger, no! <laughs> Rose gets it, fixes, and exactly will go down. They need to clean up on the point. Booney's still alive, adding protection the to his Booney team. They can't really push him. Alive. They could nano someone, but they don't really have a good nano target when Booney is when, without Ranger. The huge sleep by Paris. May fall is really low. They, need to, they should nano Ranger here. Dreamy is going to get focused in the back by this Doomfist. He's going to get frozen up. He's going to fall. And that's two picks by Paris. They have this Widow on the high ground, but Rosie's going to just pop his head. And Vix is going to go down next. Both Divas fighting on the high ground now. DPS tr going to try to get him out. But Rexada is going to get body blocked and fall extremely low. We'll get D-Mech before the fight. They, touch? It, they do get the touch. It's really just a matter of if, if they can get the picks. They do lose Evster, but... It doesn't look like it's it. It's only Evster. And Paris will take map four. They get a little redemption in that last fight. And that's going to be the game. Good game, everyone. That was a great game to watch. Paris takes one map, which helps their honor a little bit, but Shanghai takes the win 3-1. I mean, Cry, do you do you have uh MVP take right now? Boone. Uh, yeah. I mean I, I, there's, I don't there's know what else. Great to, plays to all around. Like Edgy Pigeon R and R and RAB definitely kept them up very well all game. Invictus played well. But Boone with those shatters and Someone block and shatters as well. Like, mm -hmm. he plays such an important part in each team fight. So I definitely have to give it to him. And he wasn't as effective on yeah. that last map, obviously, because he was the only... <laughs> he was kind of just getting uh, 
his whole team was not playing with him, um, which is a strategy, I guess, because uh, they the Ash does work pretty well, but it just means he will definitely die. Yeah, that's pretty uh, obvious. Like, yeah, I feel like Booney is my my MVP as well. Just absolutely insane. And speaking of MVPs, Zesty Sam for the file that makes him an MVP in my heart too. <laughs> True. Thank you, Zesty Sam. Okay, so yeah, so let's get... pull him in here and get a yeah. get a little interview with uh, with our boy Boone. He's okay. There we go. Boone, you played Hello? great, man. Yeah, you got player of the match. Oh, Pog champion, brother! Huge, <laughs> the full Pog champion. Congrats on the win. You hit huge shatters today. Was was there anything you were doing like differently? Was there anything that like was that your game plan? Like how how did you keep hitting huge shatters? Well, I mean, the thing is, you just gotta live in Cherry's head rent free. Now this is a joke, but I mean, um. I had a huge help from my team, actually. I want to shout out the teammates. They were keeping me up in the front lines. I was able to build those shatters seemingly every fight. And then I just kind of got in those off angles and noticed a shield break pressure from McCree and just hit those fatty shatties. Especially on uh, Busan. I feel like my shatters uh, were uh, kind of pog, not to a uh, two uh -huh. mount harm, but I, I feel yeah. pretty good about that. We saw him. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, you blocked a lot of shatters as well, which was really impressive. That's why we kind of had to give to you. Um, I felt bad for you that last fight. Your team kind of just was like, <laughs> We're gonna let Boone stay on cart, and everyone else is gonna do their own thing. And you're just like, I don't really like that idea, and just got kind of hard focused by their whole team there. Hey, I mean, so someone's gonna be the payload, Peter, when you got like 0. 0.48 <laughs> meters to go on the payload. So I thought I'd hold it down a little bit, I'd hold the line, but you know, just gonna bring it home. I think we forced dive a little too much on the second map or in the last map there because uh, the ball was not clean. I'll give it that, but. Uh... <laughs> I think I still I'm still really proud of the teammates. We brought in two ringers today, but they have played spectacular. Shout out to Rex Acta and to uh, on the Jets there. So just huge plays all around. Uh, I want to shout out especially Brick Breaker, who was talking some trash on our Discord server earlier. Uh, <laughs> GG's <God>. brother. <laughs> Ugh, that's that's some BM, banter. but <laughs> good we'll still, put down uh... his friendly banter. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, to be fair, he BM'd first and bagged me a lot yeah, on Dorado. Probably. So I mean. He got it back at me. He's Old a good player. Teammates, you know, that's that's how it is. It's all, all fair. Played with Brick Breaker before. He's, he's a pretty good player, so. Yeah, and he was on my team, too, so. Yeah, it, it seemed like you guys needed this win for the playoffs coming up. Uh, you guys feel good about the end of the season playoffs? Like, you guys feel like you can give it a shot? I mean, we're only getting stronger because we just brought out a really close Matt 5 win against Shook, but that was with a couple players that we didn't have. We're building our final roster. We've just this whole season's kind of been up in the air, you know. We've had a bunch of ringers, a bunch of trials that haven't really clicked yet. So we're hoping that we can build this huge roster, get some huge players. I'm actually not off roll Richard anymore and play main tank again, <laughs> not off tank. So, you know, able to get in and uh, lead the charge. We get to play this aggressive play style that we all really enjoy. Uh, making the space for Invictus is really kind of the game plan because if he gets that space to work, you saw he got those pop off moments. But um, yeah, once we get this full roster assembled and we get some scrims in, I feel pretty confident we can uh, probably make some awesome potential here in the playoffs. So with that game, that will be your uh, ninth game played. So you have two more games remaining in the season, and you're going to move up to uh, actually ninth place. So you just moved up a nice two spots, so congrats to that. And I'm, with that, you're probably going to be in the playoffs. So I guess we'll uh, see you there in the play-ins, I guess. Hey, it feels good. You know, I was a mid-season addition to this team, but I feel like I'm really connecting with the players here. Uh, Raven's a spectacular manager. She's really putting a lot of effort behind the scenes. She was uh, getting the scrims together, finding ringers for us. So just huge shout-out to her. Uh, the team would not be possible without Raven. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> not a lot of managers get uh, thanked like that. I never, hey, I know, she, I never... she she keeps me alive in the front line too with the Moira heels. All right, so you gotta shout her out sometimes. Okay, well, uh, with that, we're probably gonna have to cut this interview to the end. Uh, thanks again for uh, joining us, Boone. Play it insane, and now you can go back to your team and celebrate. Uh, yeah, huge games. Just last last little thing here. Shout out to the casters and production team. I said one this weekend, wow. so I know you guys put in a lot of work, and we really appreciate you guys streaming our games. So uh, GGs to okay. the Pink Sox and uh, go Shanghai. Well, thank you for that. Okay, thank I'm gonna move you back. Okay, and with that, we're going to end the game. Um, Shanghai Shenanigans took the 3-1 victory um, over the Paris Pink Sox. And nice little upset there. And so that's going to be another Week mm -hmm. 9 match for Altitude Esports. I'm Cry. I was Ryan. And uh, thanks for watching.